Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. Good morning. How you doing, Mr. Well, sir, you nailed it. It's a great day to be alive in the Lord. We call it a sanctified Saturday because we know who made the day. We're alive in the day where well, hey, good things are set for the day. Amen. Amen. And, and the good news is on its way because you're getting ready to bring it to us. And, and we appreciate you. And All right, indeed, delighted to be blowing the gospel up here on the airwaves this morning and every single day for its good news that reaches wherever we are, declaring the love that God has for us as we began all those years ago in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love, the Lord Jesus Christ put himself in harm's way giving us an undying love that died for us, showing us that great, he has the greatest love in that he said in John chapter 15, greater love had no man than this, that he would lay his life down for a friend. And then just to let us know that there's more than rhetoric, when he called the, his disciples, his followers and us friends, he proceeded to do exactly that. You got to love that, right? In this world where there is so much talk and rhetoric and words battered about to actually see the Lord Jesus demonstrate commission and put on display once and for all his love for us by going to the cross for us to take our penalty of our sins away and our sins and to bring us forgiveness and make us righteous is uh, something that we can look to over and over and over and over and over again as a basis for putting our confidence and trust and resting in confidence that he will always answer the mail. He will always do what is necessary to bring help to us. For the scripture, in fact, says in Hebrews chapter 7, 25, having risen, he ever lives to make intercession for all who come to the Father by him. He himself represents our case and cause, and he's well qualified to do it because he put his skin and body and blood on the line. He had skin in the game, some I might say. Uh, he actually uh, put himself on the line for us. Well, we share these things in various ways, just that our confidence will just remain rested in him at all times, that God is for us. He's on our side. He's in our corner. And, you know, the message of the good news of the gospel, that's really when it comes down to it is, is that, you know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it describes all the attributes of love, right? Love is patient, it's kind, it's not um, high-minded or not boastful. That, uh, it, and it just enumerates what it does not, what it is, what it does not do, what it does do, and uh, holds no record of wrong. And then it says, love never fails. You know, that's an awesome thing. That's why I get it when I say love always answers the mail. And uh, when we see that uh, he has that love for us, that means he'll always answer the mail in our lives. Love beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endures all things. Love never fails. That's the way God is. The scripture in John says God is love, 1 John 4. And so then this is the basis of our rest. 
we rest and with great faith comes from knowing and believing the great love that God has for us. And as we started the week off talking about who and how we are made as sons of God, just like the son of God, the only begotten who came to lay his life down for us, that we now live with this assurance, this blessed assurance that Jesus is ours, a foretaste of the glory that has been given to us in uh, in, in Christ, and that continues forever and always, as he himself said in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20, as he was commissioning the disciples to go, he said, lo, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the age, to the end of time, for always, forever, and always, and that's our confidence, y'all. That's our confidence, the confidence of Psalms 23, right? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't have fear any evil, for he is with me, the shepherd. That's what Jesus called himself in St. John 10. He says, I am the good shepherd, and I'm the one, not like the hireling, who sees the wolf comes and runs off and leaves the sheep. No, no, no. I'm the one who lays his life down for the sheep. You know why he tells us that? So that we will just uh, look to him, be assured of his guidance, his presence, his protection, to ensure that we are provided for, protected, and led to green pastures where we uh, lay down in green pastures. He leads us beside still waters, leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, causing our souls to be restored. You know, all of these things are uh, positions of just resting, resting in the fact that you have a good shepherd who is constantly leading uh, us. Our part is just to be good sheep, just to be good sheep. He said, well, what's a good sheep? A good sheep is just one that is attentive to the shepherd, responds to the shepherd, lets the shepherd lead. Uh, the sheep doesn't have to seek out its own pasture. It allows the shepherd to lead them to the pasture. Uh, it's the sheep doesn't have to look for its own path. It allows the shepherd to lead in the path. The sheep doesn't have to look for still waters to get a drink. The shepherd leads them when they're thirsty and need to, to drink. And so, friend, uh, this is our ever abiding confidence that we are called to. And this is what we're talking about when we talk about resting in faith, just faith in the good shepherd. I could put it so many different ways, but the apostle Peter describes it this way. He says, we all like sheep had gone astray, but now we are turned to the shepherd and bishop, the guardian protector of our souls. See, you see, friend, in our returning and coming to him, we find one who ever lives to watch over us, to represent our case and cause, to steer and to guide and to lead and to protect and provide and empower us in whatever way we need, uh, and, and to cause us to be strengthened in our everyday life, walk, and existence. Well, friend, here's what we want you to do. We want you to rest your faith in, in confidence in Christ and who he is in your heart and life and who you are made to be in him. The fact that you're called a sheep is not an insult, but it is one in terms of the shepherd and him taking the responsibility for your soul, for your well-being and wanting you to trust him in doing so. Hey, y'all, come on, man. Join us 10 o'clock this morning, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Connected Strength is online, and uh, we look forward to connecting with you. We're talking about getting a better understanding uh, and uh, of the scripture and life. Thank Pastor Mark Burris for that wonderful message. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yeah, and uh, talking about having a good phone, Pastor. Yes, sir. I I <laughs> I, 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 I dropped it. <laughs> I tell you, that's the thing about being live. We are we are live, and, and sometimes things happen when you're live. But hey, yeah, I drop. You know, 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 you know
<laughs> yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for, for, for all you do is gospel explosions. But I sure did. I dropped the phone this morning. You know, it said drop the mic. Well, I dropped the phone, but not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> but we got him on the run because we won't stop. We keep on going, don't we? Amen. Amen. You've been doing it for 26 years, man. You're going to run on some more. Yes, sir. And we just appreciate the pastor. We thank you for the words. We really do. And uh, that's my video. And, but, but that's still going to affect the message that you got out. And man, we just look forward to talking to you again in the morning with another great Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Blessings on you in the gospel explosion. Family, the dream of change and keeping Jesus as the center of our joy. Have a great day today. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, it, it happens. Uh, and so, hey, listen, again, men, join us at 10 a.m. this morning, 10 Central Time. For Connected Strength Online, we're talking about getting a better understanding. It's just about growing in grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ and being an agent and steward of sharing that understanding in this world that others might be drawn to him and know him as well. That together we all might be followers of him as dear children following our Father God as we were created and made to be. Hey. Love to see you at 10 o'clock, man. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.